I had no idea what to expect going into this one. I just really hoped that Vipco hadn't ballsed up quite as much as they did last week. Let's see if they did, shall we? God told me to. Also known as Demon, no relation to Demons 3 The Ogre, is a 1976 American sci-fi horror cop film written and directed by Larry Cohen, who is probably most well known for writing the Maniac Cop trilogy, and he also wrote and directed a film called The Stuff. Get ready, this is a weird one. We follow a detective called Peter. There's been a bunch of random killing sprees taking place in New York, and they're all connected by the people saying that God told them to do it. The rabbit hole leads Peter into the realms of virgin births, alien abductions, and second comings, but he might be linked closer to the whole thing than he initially thought. This is a really great plot. I absolutely loved this one. There's a lot of twists and turns, and it really kept me guessing throughout, and it kind of felt like an X-Files episode, which is not a bad thing at all. It can be a little slow in points, it is from the 70s so it's got that slower pace, but there's enough weirdness to keep it interesting. Head down to his shoulder. Like a girl, one of those hippie types. You have always to watch them, or they rip you off. I have many friends with long hair. Well, my boy, he didn't hang around those types. That's why. The acting here is actually pretty decent, which is a massive surprise for a bloody Vipco film. But there were no characters that really stood out as being particularly terrible, and the cast seemed pretty well versed. It does dip into the melodramatic every now and then, but I quite like that. Makes me laugh. Uh, the gore and effects are fine. They're pretty by the books, but it works for this sort of film because the focus is more on the plot than the gore. And we do get some funny death scenes every now and then as well, just to lighten the mood a little bit. Um, the camera work is pretty basic, but every now and then it does really shine through and impress us. Uh, especially with the lighting and shadows around some of the most supernatural characters, works really well. Why do you have to hurt me now? Don't you see? What happened to you is over after I was born. What's happening to me is just beginning. You get out of here. Don't touch me. So now I'm just going to mention a few things that I found interesting and that I wanted to talk about. Uh, the first one uh, involves spoilers, so if you don't want the film ruined, just skip ahead like 20 seconds or something. I'm not going to talk much on this. Uh, but the film comes to a climax and it's this big showdown in front of this Jesus-style character. And he lifts his robe out to reveal that he has a prosthetic vagina on his side. And then he gets killed. Now, I don't really have much more to say on that other than it happened and it made me laugh. Secondly, I want to like really emphasise just how all over the place this film is because it's so slow, it kind of just washes over you and you don't realise how mental what you're watching actually is. But there's like possessions, alien abductions, all the weird religious stuff, it packs a lot in and I've not seen a film that's managed to put so much craziness into one thing in ages. Really was a treat to watch. And thirdly, it's worth mentioning that this is the first film to feature the comedian Andy Kaufman, which is crazy. He plays a uh, possessed policeman, and I'm a big fan of Andy Kaufman, so it was really cool to see him pop up in this. Don't. 
And now it's time to look at the printer. And it's not great. Now it's not as bad as last week's. There are no massive errors like last week's. But it's still not great. It's very low resolution, so it's difficult to make out any of the smaller details. And also the film is just filthy. There's flickers and grain all over the place. And the audio is no good too. There's a hiss throughout most of it, and it's very compressed. No good. And on the disc? Same old. I'm sure you weren't expecting anything else really, were you? And we even get an error again. Filmographies. They just can't spell it right recently, and you can just tell that they don't really give a crap anymore. And the case is fine for this one, sums it up pretty well without giving away too much, and it seems to be spelling error free. Not much to say really. Overall then, this was a lot of fun. If you like a crazy film with a bit of a slower pace and less focus on gore and more on the plot, then you might get something from this. Also, it definitely had maniac cop vibes because of the uh, police procedural aspect of it. Also, if you're a fan of the X-Files, definitely, definitely check this out because the plot would be right at home, like season four of the X-Files. Now, unfortunately, there is no Blu-ray or re-release of this film in the UK. So you're stuck with this Vipco DVD, and it isn't great. Now it is watchable, it's just not great. So if you see it for cheap, it might be worth grabbing, but this is in desperate need of a re-release. So, decent film this week. Thank God for that, eh? We needed a decent one, it's been a little while. And we're very close to the end. We've only got two films left. Just two films left. And I have been dying to check out this next one, based solely on the title. We're going to be checking out Snow Beast. Mm -hmm.